How the Appearance of Queen Elizabeth II Altered Royal Attire for All Time Queen Elizabeth II was renowned for her 70 years of steadfast devotion to the Commonwealth and the United Kingdom, but her regal sense of elegance will also live on in memory. The late monarch, who passed away on September 8, 2022, at the age of 96, was just as much of a fashion phenomenon in her youth as Princess Diana or Kate Middleton, setting trends and adorning herself with the most cutting-edge fashions from the 1950s, 1960s, and beyond. The Queen was a master at diplomatic dressing, frequently incorporating significant objects and hues into her attire. As a result, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and other younger royals were inspired to do the same with their own wardrobes. The renowned Vaticelli work Primavera, which served as the inspiration for Princess Elizabeth's wedding dress. On November 20, 1947, Princess Elizabeth married Prince Philip in a stunning Norman Hartnell wedding gown studded in 10,000 seed pearls and delicate embroidery. Women in the UK were so enthusiastic about the wedding that they even sent the princess their own post-World War II ration coupons so she could utilize them to pay for the expensive design. Despite the fact that she had to return them, the heartwarming gesture reflected how much people cared about the future queen. Coronation Gown, 1953 On June 2, 1953, Queen Elizabeth II was crowned. Queen Elizabeth II made sure that her coronation robes accurately represented her new position, not just in the UK but also across the Commonwealth. Her Norman Hartnell gown was short sleeve and highly embroidered, with national emblems including English flowers, Scottish thistles, Irish shamrocks, and Australian wattles. More than 60 years later, Meghan Markle would use a similar approach when she hand-embroidered her bridal veil with flowers from every Commonwealth nation, as well as Winter Sweet, which grows on the grounds of Kensington Palace, and the California Poppy, a reference to her home state. Lawrence of Arabia Premier Look, 1962 Her Majesty attended the 1962 Lawrence of Arabia Premier wearing the gown her granddaughter Princess Beatrice would later alter to become a wedding dress. At the dazzling Lawrence of Arabia premiere in 1962, the Queen chose yet another Norman Hartnell creation, and the sleeveless white taffeta gown with diamante embellishments would eventually find fresh life at a royal wedding. When Princess Beatrice exchanged vows with Eduardo Mapelli Mosi in a private ceremony witnessed by Her Majesty and Prince Philip in 2020, she claimed her grandmother's outfit to be her something borrowed and something antiquated. At home in Balmoral, 1967, Her Majesty adopted consistent attire for public appearances over the years, generally wearing a vibrant coat with a coordinating dress, often flowery, underneath, and of course, a colorful hat. But even when she wasn't working, she maintained a uniform, dressing in Scottish tartans and English tweeds, cardigans, her favorite brand was House of Brewer, Hunter Wellies, patterned headscarves, and barber jackets. The late monarch loved a good kilt, and she occasionally wore the unique Balmoral tartan that her great-great-grandfather, Prince Albert, designed. Visiting Ireland, 2011 When Her Majesty visited Ireland in 2011, the first British queen to do so in a century, diplomatic attire took on even more significance. In 1911, her grandfather, King George V, visited there. The Queen's clothing, which included a green coat by Stuart Parvin, a flowery dress that matched it, and a hat by Rachel Trevor Morgan, delivered a message of togetherness to the audience. She then stunned them with a speech that began with her speaking in Irish. Since then, Middleton and Markle have both honored host nations by adorning their flags in the same style while on overseas trips. Trooping the Color 2016 in her vibrant green attire, the Queen joined other members of the royal family on the Buckingham Palace balcony. In order for her subjects to always recognize her in a crowd, Her Majesty frequently wore startlingly bright colors, such as the neon green coat and hat by Stuart Parvin she wore for her 90th birthday festivities in 2016. The hashtag neonat90 hashtag and the lime suit both quickly gained popularity on social media, with many users creating green screen memes. It's safe to say that Her Majesty, who was known for her sense of humor, enjoyed it all. What about Queen Elizabeth's colorful and elegant dress did you guys like the most? Tell us by commenting below the video.